Patty Larlam was actually a nurse who grew up in West Virginia, came to Ohio to go to nursing school. She worked in the hospital in labor and delivery. One of her neighbors ended up having a child that was born hydrocephalic, um, this little baby Alice. The family didn't know what to do, and there were very many resources. So she felt that somebody needed to do some things. She brought Alice into her home, and it actually started with a conversation around their dining room table, so it was Hattie and her three children. And she said, somebody should help these families while Alice was still in the hospital. And her son piped up and said, well, aren't we somebody to do something? And she had like light bulb go off, and she brought these children into her home. She had 10 children in her home she got licensed for. And even though she's doing something, she wanted to do more. So she decided to build a hospital for children with disabilities. Through the Legacy Building, we've, we have adventures down in Columbus. We have, you know, group homes. We have doggy daycare and our supported living homes. It's pretty impressive. I don't think that she ever guessed that we would be where we are today. This is where it all starts. This is where hearing the kids forming relationships, learning how to share, just the day-to-day the -day play. They're little, they're only 12 to 18 months when they start with us. And then they slowly progress. As the years go on, they move into a bigger classroom, a few more days of the, of the week, a few harder tasks, a little bit more. We demand a little bit more out of them. We're getting them ready and ready and ready for kindergarten. You've seen them when they come in and they're not using words, but by the time they get to the preschool and they're using language to, to, to greet you or a gesture, prior to that they wouldn't even sometimes not make eye contact. Uh, we've seen kids that have come in using a walker and then by the time they've gotten through the program, um, they're able to walk more independently. Um, they're, you know, we'll offer them their walk and they say, no, I don't need it, <laughs> and, and they're ready to go. It's amazing just to see, you know, how far the kids can go. And some stories are really giant progress, and other stories are just, this was my reality when my baby was in the NICU at birth, and now we're going to kindergarten. We're an organization that looks to meet the needs of children and adults. Patty Lauder connects families with what they need so that they can be successful any way we can. The work training programs provide a fulfillment for a lot of the individuals we serve and in that you know, I think we all have value in going to work. We all like feeling like we're part of something bigger. They get to be part of a team. They help. Disability people with a job help control themselves so they can move on like I did and be like a real employee. You got sick time, vacation time, you know that whole thing and I'm like wow I've never gotten this far before. <laughs> wow all this for a part time job? Yeah I got it. Help me communicate and stuff with other people like doing my work helped me out big time. Really amazing, I recommend it to anyone looking for like a work training program. They're hard workers, they come to work every day, um, they love what they do. And it's giving them an opportunity to find something that they could call their own, that they have ownership in, and they feel rewarded for doing it. You know, we're able to help them, and they definitely help us, and I think we gain more than they do, to be honest. Um, just having their presence in our building is rewarding enough. Without Patty Law, I don't think I go out like every week. I don't think I I I work on my social skills. Like um, I think I'd be just at home all day. Like it's so amazing, Patty Law. Like I said, I recommend it to anyone looking for a job. I wouldn't recommend anything else over Patty Law. So we try to find different things to kind of accommodate each individual. And it could be something as simple as walking outside, um, enjoying nature, finding pine cones, sitting in the grass under a tree on a nice warm breezy day, um, finding trips that are wheelchair accessible, handicap accessible, different experiences that they may not, people may think that they're not able to do and we find a way to do them. We try to find any opportunity we can whether it's a nonprofit, we have a good relationship with the city of Columbus, we go to some of their gyms. So we just try to develop relationships wherever we can. 
And I think community integration is a huge part of Hattie Larlam, and it's also a huge part of the day program. Um, so today we're going to go to the park, and I'm going to um, read aloud to some people in the park, um, just as a change of scenery, let them look out at the water while I read to them. It's an adventure where you go out into the world and accomplish something. We have fun, like hiking and bowling, and sometimes we go wild. Uh, like the Franklin County Fair and parks. We take them camping, we've gone canoeing, we do blacksmithing, which is not something most programs usually do. Being able to let them enjoy themselves at their pace, I, I, just, I just get a kick out of it. Hattie Larlam is, again, we have to use this word, I have to use this word again, family, it's a family unit, where when you walk in, you're amongst family and friends. Everybody that lives in one of our houses, you know, has the opportunity to pick their roommates and choose who they live with. People choose to live here and, you know, the people that live here choose to have them to live there. They get to decorate it however they want to. If they want footballs in their, in their room, they can have that. We have a guy who has trucks everywhere. So anything that they want, we try to make sure that they have it to make them happy. Although I am a nurse, I was pretty much running like an intensive care at home by myself. And the more we learned about Hattie Larlam, I thought it could be a good fit for me to be the best mom for all four of my children. And it has certainly proved to be. I, we just grew to love it. We have some of the best nurses. They truly have the heart of Hattie. And like we talk about that a lot here. She had a passion for the people with disabilities and watching that get lived out on the floor is something that I think everybody should witness at some time because it's beautiful. We come in to care for them, but so often they heal parts of us that we don't even realize that we need healed. Sophia needed 24-7 care because of the complexity of her disability. My anxiety level was through the roof. My stress level was through the roof because I kept feeling like I'm not able to take care of this kid the way she needs it. I did to bring her in. And um, in hindsight now, I didn't feel like it at that time, but it was the best thing I could have done for myself, but especially for Sophia. There is a sense of family here. And so she belongs here, and I know she feels like she belongs. Over time, she started growing. She was less sick. Um, she wasn't having the seizures as frequently. Right, Sophia? Am I telling it right? I'm talking about you. <laughs> I am Hattie Larlam. I am Hattie. I am Hattie Larlam. I am Hattie Larlam. I am Hattie Larlam. I am Hattie Larlam. Go Hattie Larlam. I am Hattie Larlam. I am Hattie Larlam. I am Hattie. I am Hattie Larlam. I am Hattie Larlam. We are Hattie Larlam. Join us.